All right, so we're in Savannah today. Uh, first stop we wanted to make was right here along Jones Street, which is a uh, famous street for all the million dollar homes along it here in Savannah. And our first stop was gonna be the Wilkes House, which uh, we heard you gotta get here early, it's busy, best food around, gotta stop here. So we beat feeded right here, first stop. And here we are at the Wilkes house and we get greeted with <laughs> was wondering why there wasn't a line closed for vacation thank you so that changes our plans a little bit and we'll just walk down Jones Street and see what that looks like for a little bit all right through Forsyth Park So this is Jones Street. We're back back towards Jones Street from Forsyth uh, Park. We're just gonna walk down a couple blocks this way and then turn around and go a couple blocks the other way just to see what Millionaire Row here looks like. <laughs> Petra found a house for sale on Million Dollar Row. We'll move on. <laughs> I gotta do my research. <laughs> yeah, I see one here. Let's turn here. So this is interesting. The house you're looking at right there on the corner has a balcony on the second floor. But you'll notice there are no doors going out to the balcony. The reason for this, and this I guess is specific here in Savannah, the tour guy gave us the other day. So Savannah started taxing, taxing houses based on how many doors they had. So normally on a balcony you have a door that goes in the balcony. Well, Savannah, uh, the people of Savannah, they took the door out or didn't build a house with a door that way the taxes were less so you'll see a lot of balconies that don't have a door but they crawl out the window <laughs> still on Jones Street just really nice houses along here quiet courtyard in the back. The bells were tolling for noon. It's just another one of the many parks here in downtown. Or many squares, sorry. Here in downtown Savannah, we're heading over here to this Irish pub to grab lunch, being the Wilkes house to let us down today. <laughs> we're outside Chippewa Square. I'm taking a picture of this steeple because in the movie Forrest Gump, the feather supposedly comes from the top of the steeple and comes down here to Chippewa Square. And Forrest Gump is sitting right here on a uh, park bench at the square. The bench was put in for the movie and uh, they removed the bench 
because there's so many crowds of people here taking pictures and it, it was becoming a problem. So yeah, Chippewa Square, something you might not have known in Savannah, Georgia. It's the Colonial Cemetery in the middle of Savannah. The tour guide told us the other day, we did a trolley tour, that um, the Colonial Park, there's actually not as many people buried here as you would think because during the Civil War, um, it got so cold one winter that the soldiers that were camped here went into a lot of the crypts and <laughs> took the bodies out because they wanted to get some heat. So interesting story there. This is not the, hmm, I, I'm trying to remember the name of the famous cemetery in, in Savannah. We're hoping to get to that, but the weather's kind of turning on us, so we'll see. There are some interesting uh, stones here in Colonial Cemetery. This might be one of the older cemeteries that I've been in. Uh, really kept well um, a lot of of the uh, Revolutionary War uh, individuals from Georgia, the state of Georgia, are buried here. Um, it's just a lot of history as you read these plaques. It's it's very interesting. Uh, well worth the uh, walk around just to read. Here you see these steps, which you see a lot around Savannah. Interesting with these, I didn't know, but these are his, or his and hers in the old days, uh, quite old. The men would come up one side and the women would come up another. Uh, just an interesting little tidbit. Here we are, Leopold's ice cream. It's a must stop in Savannah.